How are you? Fine, sir. So, could you please introduce yourself? Fine, sir. Good evening, sir. Firstly, thank you for letting me to introduce myself. My name is Pratva Garki. I was born and brought up from Andhra Pradesh, Jayawada. I was completed my B.Tech in Engineering College of Engineering and Technology in the year of 2019 with the aggregate of 71 percentage in GDM College of Engineering and Technology. And I was completed my intermediate in uh, APSWR Junior College with the aggregate of 81 percentage in the year of 2015. And I was completed my uh, SSC in the year of 2013 with the aggregate of 93 percentage in APSWR uh, school. Coming to um, I have uh, four years of uh, non-IT experience, but I'm, I was interested in IT, IT field. Why? Because uh, uh, the growth in IT field as compared to non-IT is uh, very huge and uh, very uh, high. So that I was choosing to go to uh, IT sector. That's why I was uh, 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 interested in uh, DevOps, AWS DevOps. That's about myself. Fine. So, Kilset, you have mentioned the AWS I, IAM and then WAF and security and then NACL. Yes. So, could you tell me the difference between WAF and NACL and security? Uh, yes. Security, um, all are uh, um, firewalls of, uh, we will use for security. Uh, security groups are we will use in instance level uh -huh. um, and uh, NACL we will use for uh, subnet level. Uh, WAF, web application firewall, it will be used for uh, application level. Uh, different between NACL and security group. When you use this, when you use this. Uh, NACL we will use in a uh, subnet level, so that um, security group we will use in uh, instance level. Fine. So does AWS backup also comes under the storage? Yes. How? Sorry, it will be used for uh, uh, oh. getting the backup. It's Not a mission over. Okay. So what are the type of different storage services we have, uh, classes we have in S3? S3 overall uh, six um, okay. standard infrequent, standard frequent, standard infrequent, intelligent hiring, and then one zone IA, glacier, glacier day pack. Okay, so which one is expensive? Which one is uh, less expensive? Uh, less expensive, uh, standard frequent, and expensive is uh, inter intelligent. Standard frequent, okay, okay, intelligent is less expensive or glacier is less expensive. Sorry, glacier is uh, expensive because uh, we will back up from uh, oh. okay, fine. Which service comes under the uh, elastic beam set comes under which type of service? Elastic beam set comes under the which type of service? It's a server, uh, server or uh, platform as a service, platform as a service, uh, and uh, everything. Um, all are together in, in that uh, elastic beam stack. Everything we can uh, like uh, we can select uh, whatever load balancer auto scale. We can't uh, no need to create separately. Everything will available in one one platform that is uh, elastic beam okay. stack. Could you please write sample Jenkins file for me? Yes. Fine, fine. Enough, enough. Thank you. So do you face any issues while doing the first or second project in AWS? Yes, while doing the uh, first project uh, uh, with RDS, I have an issue. Okay. Why? Because uh, uh, while, uh, while creating RDS, um, while, uh, while choosing engine, uh, I was uh, wrongly selected uh, instead of uh, MySQL, some other one, and I was uh, working on it. It's not getting uh, um, getting output. Okay. Then okay. I was uh, deleted, and again I was created. Uh, RDS only main, I got the main issue in, while doing the uh, okay. first project. In second project, uh, I have an issue with uh, CloudFront uh, certification creation. A oh. uh, lot of times uh, I was creating, it was not getting issued. It will not, uh, in normal normal days, it, uh, normal times, it was not getting issued. Evening, night times only, it was getting issued. I was uh, learned from others and then I was uh, created uh, some particular times. So that okay. I receive. So, right. uh, what is the difference between bucket policies and IAM policies? Um, bucket policies we will uh, assign for uh, um, um, object and um, what are the buckets we are created in S3 S3 and uh, another one, sorry. IAM policies. Uh, IAM policies we, we can assign for users which are cre created in IAM section, users and groups. Sir. Yes. That's Yes. You are having a four years experience yes. on which domain? Uh, actually, it is a medical domain. Like what? Uh, medical, uh, US, US healthcare it is. Okay. Uh, we are worked in, um, uh, we are worked for different pharmacies. 
uh, we have number of projects in for each each pharmacy i especially i worked for five pharmacies in some pharmacies we have three projects four projects and some pharmacies we have only one projects like that initially i was started as a junior asset and uh, that is uh, like what are your roles and responsibilities uh, in, uh, initially my role is a junior asset that means a data entry operator we will receive the data and uh, for that we will send the medication what to the what is your ctc when you are started as a junior assistant my ctc when i started 1.8 and after 4 years uh 3 Okay, after four years, only three. Three, yes. Okay, then yeah. why only AWS DevOps? Why not other domains? Yes, uh, actually, I have a four years of gap, and uh, coming to the coding, uh, previously I was learned uh, code Java also, but be because of uh, career, I mean, sorry, non IT experience, uh, I feel AWS DevOps will be suitable to cover this gap, or else uh, we. Need How can you cover with that? Even developer also. will go as a pressure then why it is aws developer as compared to um, coding it's uh, i feel uh, um, that uh, it, it is a server side right so i feel some somewhat interesting and it's uh, on, on demanding also okay okay good good for you